Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon Lich Streaks. Let's roll a die. A three for me. A pilot I shall be. Into the Gungeon for our potential. Okay. Potential streak of 88, right? We're on 87. We're on 87. If we win, we're at 88, which is a palindrome. Whoa, dude, a palindrome. It's definitely not uh, just, you know, <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm saying again, that. It's a palindrome. That would be cool because we're always trying to look for a way to stretch it and make it more interesting than it is. The special semantic number. Obviously, king of the king of semantic numbers is going to be the big 100 that we're obviously going to mention, like, all the time leading up to it, because it's just, it's been started as a, oh, started as a fable. Now it's attainable. I'd say it's so, so attainable. To the point where, like, I do expect it to happen, but we could get, we could get wrecked leading up to it. Just... Out of the blue. I, it absolutely could happen. Let's get that key. Always fun to get a key drop before you even get to the shop. Just, like, not even have to think about it. Handy, handy. We don't have to worry about considering spending money on the key or not. I mean, we can, but it's just... I mean, I mean we probably will anyways, because we are pilot. He gets that extra little discount. Goes a long ways. You, 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 you. Is it worth blank? No, it's not. We didn't need it. All right. That's handy. Definitely take a piece of armor. Can't go wrong. Getting that for free. I mean, armor is like... It's a better drop to get than a half heart. You know, just on average, right? It's just definitely... No, it's definitely better than a half heart. Because you can... Uh, it's, it's more usable. Like, you can always add a piece of armor. I don't think there's a cap to how much armor you can have. Like, I, I've been... I've messed around with Ma the Gungeon off camera every once in a while, and, like, it, you can add a, add armor off the screen. Okay, should we get the mailbox? Maybe. It's okay. It's not great. It beats our starter by a country mile. Is a country mile truly bigger than a regular mile? So, you jerk. What if I wanted that? I think there was a barrel off in one of these rooms over here anyways, though. I don't know if we want to go, though. I don't, I don't know. There's the water barrel. Right there. Right there. Right... Ah, oh, shoot, we lost it. We don't have to go. <laughs> I feel like we've got a lot recently. We should... One thing I, I'll say, maybe we'll do it today, but that's kind of like... That's kind of doing rat on hard mode, but we could try the rat. Like, anyways. I typically like to do the secret floors on my rat runs, because you get extra money, you don't have... I feel like you have to throw away stuff if you go to the rats, and you don't go to the secret floors. Feels like you kind of have to... To choose between getting fun stuff early on, like a slog early. If you want to go and do the rat, you kind of have to like make the run sort of not that fun until you buy the key. And even after you buy the key, potentially, dep depending on if you get fun stuff out of chests. Which, speaking of, let's. Uh, I'm really sick of Macho Race. Okay, you know what? Cool, 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 cool. That is acceptable. It's not amazing, but it's like, it's way better than the pilot starter. I actually, I've come to hate this room layout for the Galling Gull. Because you'd think it'd be really nice and easy, breezy, beautiful with the, uh, the pits. But I find it, it does weird things to the, his attack pattern. Like, like he's scripted in a way where he doesn't know what to do sometimes. And, like, you'd think it'd be great to hide over here. Oh, what the hell? Why did, 
my poison bullets get hit right there? Why did why did I drop poison on the ground? At my feet. Did I hit the table? That sucks. But yeah, what I was gonna say, this my hit had nothing to do with the Gatling gun. Now it does. Ah, shoot. But it has everything to do with the fact that it's actually not very easy to be uh, on this side of him over there. Like you'd think having the divider between you would make it easier, but I think it actually does make it a little bit harder. Okay, that is a run changer for sure. That changes everything. Everything under the the whole sun. Oh my god. That's really nice too. So <laughs> Here's the thing, like Super Hot Watch is amazing. And if you use it right, you could like not get hit. If you if you use it in a way where it's like you're using it appropriately, you could be nigh unkillable. But it's just like I don't want to use it perfectly effectively all the time because it can kind of makes me feel a little queasy if I use it to its fullest potential. So I will kind of just I won't be using it in its entirety. Like I'm not gonna be using it in a way where I'm just gonna like literally play like a tool assisted speed run. Because I don't find that to be that satisfying. So we're going to be moving a lot. If, if for some reason you don't know what Super Hot Watch does at, at this point, like you're just jumping in or you don't know, not, don't know a lot about Gungeon, it's like the game Super Hot. If you stand still, things move outrageously slowly. Nigh, not at all. Like, almost not at all. But uh, if you move around a lot, the game functions like normal, but you can do stuff like that. So therefore, it's pretty insane, like, all things considered, it's, it is ridiculous. Especially with something like, I feel like we could really get something dirty with Macho Brace and, um, whoop, and, uh, and it with maybe like, oh my god, <laughs> Macho Brace. And like a sniper or something, just like a. See, like right there. Did it save me from a hit? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how I would have dodged that if I was reacting to it with, you know, in a normal way. Shelaton key. Oh. Oh. I'd like Shelaton key. I don't know that I'll be able to get it. find out if it's between buying Shelaton key and going to the rat I don't know what I should do because it has been a while since we've gone to the rat oh weird it's been a while thanks want to die so it looks like we're gonna have to be stuck with our standard unless we get some ammo if we get ammo like I don't even like this was not amazing it, it runs out fairly quickly but I think we're stuck with this for a bit hit which is a snooze fast of a weapon that's okay we'll make it work designers we're gonna make it work Dumb choice. Ah. Half of my dumb choices seem to be related to Macho Brace, as always. It's the same thing. Like, I, it, I sh shouldn't use it. Like, I shouldn't factor it into any of my decisions. That's how I get myself in trouble. Oh. Get him alive! Taking forever because I got a bad standard. Oh, oh, I want to, but the rat. We haven't gotten any keys yet, so I. Shelton key doesn't look like it's in the cards. No matter, like no matter what. Could 
could be wrong. Get out of here, bouncer boy. But yeah, this is gonna be a slog if we don't, cause like, the starter is so slow, and Super Hot Watch lends itself to such a pokey pace. We have the turkey too, and we're just not even. I mean, thanks. I don't even know if I should reveal this chest room without a key. I mean, I could try to use my lock picks. I just don't know that it's a good idea, though. I can try to use my lockpicks on one of the chests. And maybe we should. Sloppy. We just need to move slower. Alright, so that's that. Big money! God dang it! No! Alright. Disappointment. Are we going to have to use our standard against this boss, too? Looks like we're not even going to get enough money for the Nod Key. Which I guess I wouldn't be that upset about, because the Tangler is pretty good. At the very least, it's looking really good right about now. Junkin? Ah! Because, uh, ooey ooey. This is awful. I mean, at least it's this man. He's not a bad man. I don't like this. I don't like this method of fighting a boss, but like, it's, op it's the optimal way to do it. This phase, I think we can just do full speed. If I see an ad come out, or the rockets, though. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is a minefield right here. And here comes more rockets. Can't get the ad out of the way. Like, this boss is not that bad. But our weapon is. And this is why, like, when everyone says, beat the game with just the pilot's pilot and his standard without changing weapons, I say, that sounds so... Oh, that sucks. I'd say that sounds so boring. Because is it possible? Yeah. But, oh, aye, aye. It also just... Oh, my God. Like, it makes me want to tab out, honestly. Like, I just don't even want to play this right now with this weapon. Can't wait to get something else. And if we don't get enough money for the, the key, and this whole time I could have just bought the Tangler. Oh, man, I'm going to be disappointed. Halfway done. Same sound effects, it seems like, for these two weapons. Good snad. Oh, I missed. How long is this fight taking? Uh oh. I thought that might kill the ad. That's kind of why I went for that, that option. Huh. I guess with Super Hot Watch, we could just like not think about it. <laughs> this is awful! I just... Oh my god! I'm just like... I'm getting hit out of boredom. Ugh. 
That just was, oh my god. The sloggiest slog fest that you ever did see. And we got the synergy for the elephant, sh uh, the elephant shotgun, no, the elephant gun. It just is like, it's not very good, to be honest. All right. So we can't get the key, it's fine. I'm honestly like, so fine with that. Because if we had to fight the rat with our standard, I'd, one, I'd probably die. Just die out of boredom. But I just... Oh, my goodness. All right. We should be good now, though. We have a couple weapons. I saved my money just in case, you know. And it looks like it was not necessary. Looks like the elephant gun is actually doing okay right now. Seems like it actually works pretty well with the uh, Macho Brace, too. Alright, this is where the run starts to become much better. Right? How much does Macho Brace even increase our... Does it increase our fire rate? Or our damage? Why can he shoot through the pillar? Ooh. Ooh, I like that better. Okay, I said whoop, 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 whoop. He's a square and I'm throwing elephants at him. What of it? Seems like it's Macho Brace is the fire rate. I always thought it was damage. No, I don't know. Go bad up. Put everything else at full, anyways. Right. Roll. Fire. Ooh, another one. Can we even pick up that other key? You don't recall. We did. Good deal. Almost back to full health. We've missed perfecting all the bosses so far. All two of them. It's quite a bit. I'm pleased with charm rounds. I haven't said any... I didn't, like, I didn't mention anything about them when I got them. They're not bad. They're really, really not bad. Tangler. Oh, man, I wish I had you on that boss. Seems like the elephant gun is pretty darn likely to... Oh. I can really cheese that with this. I'm, that would be such a waste of time, though. Like, But the gun drop technique with the super hot watch... That's ridiculous. Uh, there's probably some good stuff there. I think I'm gonna pass, though. It's not bad items, I just don't really want to mess with them. Boss Light's gun. Molotov is fine, but not great. Better with Synergy. The synergy we might even have, but I don't know. Funny down here. My bad choice by rolling directly into that. Okay. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, just like that, I think we got ourselves an okay run. We, we scraped it together just by giving up on the rat. I mean, we, we had to give up on the rat. But I think, like I said, I think that's a good thing. Get out of here with your stinking walled shenanigannies. You nothing, son. Mm -hmm. 
decent amount of money back here. After our big purchase last floor. Think about it. I, I mean, I have my lockpick I can use. Rattler. I like the Rattler. Hmm. I will probably come and open that one up. And probably use my lockpick on the blue boy. But we don't know what tier my other chest is. It could be a black chest. could be a red chest. could be a rainbow chest. But actually, rainbow chests don't have locks on them, so... Okay, so actually... It's a green chest passive. I, ah. I'm not even that mad about it though, because uh, I haven't been doing so hot on them bosses there. So that brings us to at least like perfecting one of the bosses. D-pad. That's a good boy. That's a good boy right there. And I know we could get a key from the boss, but I'm just there. We go. Cool. Just like that. Back from uh, back from the pits. Anywhere, uh, another one stealing. All right, so we have the D-pad, which means we can steal with it, and we can then cycle it into a different weapon. Basically, I'm pleased. Oh, it's gonna be nice to not just fully super hot watch this boss. That didn't work quite that well. We should definitely do a little bit more stutter stepping in situations like this to put ourselves in optimal spots. Because if we get that explosive shot thrown at us, that's a disaster. Because the explosion radius, radius of it is so huge. It's so much bigger than you would think. Made a bad choice. And that's what I'm talking about right there with the uh, super hot watch. It's just like, if you wanted to, it could be a 10 out of 10 item just by like literally tool assisted playing it like that. But that's just, I don't have all day. Ooh. Actually. I'm pretty pleased with this weapon right now. Sure. I think we're out of here. We don't have any blanks. Nothing really valuable in the shop. On with the show. Okay. Floor four, back to, uh, back to a run where I think that now would be kind of weird to lose, right? I think... Oh god, I was like, my game's freezing! <laughs> Help! Dit, 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 dit. Alright. But yeah, I think I think we're we're back to that weird to lose scenario. Like I was second floor. We could have died just because of a really really kind of sloppy sloppy roll in our with our guns. Like, you really have to prioritize your weaponry as pilot, because his starter is so bad. It's so bad that it's worth making decisions on the first floor completely around it, I'd say. But I just didn't want to throw away the possibility of, like, I don't know. Oh, God! Like, what? Okay, so we got the plague pistol. I guess the plague pistol just must run out really, really quickly. Also, he got us. It got us hit indirectly, but, like, we got hit on the boss anyways, I think. Oh. I think the moment we sort of gave up on trying to use our Macho Brace, things have gone a lot better for us. I don't like this. Like, we, we will use Macho Brace as it is logical. We should not go out of our way to use it. 
many patches. Surprisingly, we don't need it. <laughs> After the beginning of the run, it is a slight shocker that we do not. Pearson, Pearson, Pearson. Okay, got a key. Good, good, good. Scraping back. Just fine. Okay. No chest found yet. It's the shock one. Okay, 102 shells. I think... I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I keep on saying it because why am I keeping on saying it? It's because I'm like half halfway believe it's true. Like the beginning was so sloppy on my part and the game's RNG part in a, in a way. Like unless I wanted to fully use stopwatch, which I've been told like people hate. Spring heel boots is an interesting concept. Let's actually check what's over here first though. Uh, eh, no thanks. No thanks. Spring heel boots is an interesting concept. Ballot's an interesting concept because we have a pilot. However, we don't have a spacebar item except for the block pick yet. Hold on. I'm pretty sure the ballot does something else. What is the other thing the ballot does? Ballot, gungeon. It does... Increases coolness by three... Oh, that's it. But that's a lot. Three is a lot. Hmm. This is an interesting concept. I like these things. I don't love either of them. This does increase our consumable drops at the end of the floor. Or end of the, end of the room. But, like... And it's by three. I think that it's not thirty percent, is it? But but let's check because I think it's a lot. Uh, one plus coolness. One percent plus coolness minus curse. Okay. So it increases our chance after every single room by three from one percent to four percent so in a way it's way better than 30 percent I, I didn't mean like 30 percent chance to get it to get a consumable oh God, this is oh. but that's yeah that's really nice that's so good We do have the ability to steal. That will get rid of some of our coolness stat, though. Getting rid of the uh, some of the benefit of the drop up. It might be worth it, though. We don't have any coolness or uh, any curse yet, and it doesn't matter if we steal from the guy. Like as far as um, being worried about him going away, because we don't have to deal with him ever again. The next floor shop is the forge. So. I could steal spring heel boots. Or I could just wait until next floor and steal stuff there. Okay. I'm actually liking Tangler quite a bit. We'll make our decision at the end of the floor, I think. Because spring heel boots is good, but I often forget to use it correctly. Just use it correctly, then. Yes, I know. Okay. One room away from the next chest. Did we open up the other one? No, I don't think... I don't think we did. Such a dumb roll. The charm rounds are coming really in handy. Oh! Ew! We will probably just lockpick that. Unless it's our passive. Then we'll think about it. Because there's some really, really good brown chest passives. Okay, 
There we go. Up, up, up. Cool. It is our passive. This gun's awesome. Is it worth stealing mutation? Is it worth buying? Maybe it's worth buying. I usually don't love it. idea, but... Uh, that doesn't matter yet. That doesn't do anything for us right now, but okay. Alright. This guy sucks. But I think he's a pretty good contender for cheesing with Super Hot Watch. gonna be bouncing around the room like crazy. Hopefully they deal. It's damn sure. We have one blank left. Where the man? He's moving so slowly. God dang it. Oh! Almost got bopped. Had to think about it, and I didn't see anything good really there. So I think it was a worthy blank. If you're in complete slow mo like that and you can't see anything good, I think it's it's acceptable to use a blank. Uh oh. All right. Good. 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 He. Easy peasy. Alright. He is probably a waste to purchase then. It's fine. So we've got enough to get spring heel boots. I guess we'll just buy it. I think that maybe because right there that would have been an it would have been an answer. Like, I think it's the usefulness of it is vastly improved with uh with super hot watch. I'll say that much. Because, you know, there's going to be some situations where... Oh, well, it's time does not get slowed down. Maybe... Okay, time does not get slowed down while you're dodge rolling. Because you're moving. Okay. I love the weird little slug wiggle that we do in the air with our secondary dodge. God, charm rounds are crazy. It's been a while since we've done a Rito scale. Let's do let's do some Rito scale. Charm rounds, gotta give them like a. I I, I don't give it up for them that often, but they're at. I'm gonna say they're an 8.5. Like they're so nice. Because Charm is really good, but here's the downside of Charm, is it usually comes on either, like, Charm Horn, which is really good. Obviously, like, Charm Horn is probably, uh, probably a 9.5, 9, 9, 9, <laughs> because it's a stealing item that, um, it's a stealing item and it has a nice effect to use in normal rooms. But, um... The nice effect. The charm, charming is handy, but it usually, except for on charm round, comes on a weapon that is not that great otherwise-ish, sort of. Um, but having it be just an inherent thing that can be on any of your weapons, I'm gonna give it a solid 8.5, 8.5 on charm rounds. I don't know if I ranked Tangler before, but I think it. I think, at the, at the very least, right now, I'm giving it a solid 7. It's like one of those weapons that are just very pleasing to have. Just the stats, the stats just work well. 
they they carry you pretty far. Like I'm using it right now without any damage ups in the forge. Right? No damage ups. Yeah, no damage ups at all in the forge, except if you can, could consider the dodge roll, which I'm not really factoring in. It does work, you know, like, of all things, shotguns do work well with Macho Brace, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm considering it. But I, I'm... It's a solid 7 to me. Solid 7. That's the tier for, for guns that I'm just... I, I feel like if I had to use them on the Lich or the Dragon... I would not be disappointed. I would not be like, oh man, I wish we had something so much better. Like, they're not amazing. They're not game-changing. But they are hyper-game-assisting. Like, they, they help you get to the point where you run can pop off. What else we got? Let's rank rank something else. I mean, you gotta you gotta rank D-pad like a uh, oh, like a stealing weapon, but better than that, D-pad is more than that because it can it cycles itself. The fact that you can use it you can use it in multiple ways and then cycle it for it just for another chest if you feel like it is awesome. I think that that, plus the ability to steal, plus the fact that it is an okay gun anyways, I think it's gotta be like a 9. Just because it's the ability to steal. Or is it? I, yeah. No, yeah, it's like it's like a 9. It's the ability to steal and then you can get rid of it for something else. See, like right there, it gave us shock rounds. Future gangster. Gave us shock rounds, and that's how you—that's how you have to think about thie thieving weapons. And now I can like—I can use it. Ooh, it works really cool with the uh, shock rounds. That's a neat effect. Um, but yeah, now we can use it up and just get a different chest. So it's effectively like, even if it wasn't good, which it is because it's the ability to steal, which I consider to be a run shapingly handy. Uh, benefit for a thing to have It can be something else Or it can just be a good gun Because right now, right now it's just good Just gotta be careful not to Break the, uh, the black chest that it drops It is a big bummer to get a brown chest from it, I guess, but it Seems like that doesn't happen that often I guess I don't know the stats on that. I believe that makes it so we can see inside chests. I get out, sir. I mean, we might as well do it. Got a key. Good, 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 good. Because I actually kind of regretted what I did there because I forgot about this fool. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Wait. Oh, 88. Well, I want to steal, so... We will fight the dragon first. Go back, buy the Elder Blank, steal the Chaos Amulet. And that is, once again, right there, just an amazing example. Why is this shooting two? Oh, backup gun. Oh, amazing. Oh, my God. This is cheesy extreme. I don't care. I don't care. It's so cool. We're going to load the screen up with them. Just with the shock rounds, too? I don't even care. Oops. Oh! That's okay, it doesn't really matter. 
was being dramatic. I gotta be careful. I almost wasted my uh, my special thing. Let's get it off our our quick switch. This plus lightning should be pretty good. One would think. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Oh, this is actually a really bad way to, to do this because we're not technically moving in the corner. So we don't, uh, even though we're like, if you try to run into the wall, that's normally how I do it. I just run into the wall and then I dodge over. Did it again. So yeah, I think it might, in theory, might actually make that face harder in a way. Future gangster. Did I say backup gun was helping me with the, uh, whatever the half-life gun? Because I meant, uh, the holster. Oh, oh god, we have spring heel boots. That's right. I haven't used them once. There's a better way to do this. I don't know what it is, but... Maybe there's not. We don't have a lot of amazing stuff. I guess it's, we're gonna two cycle or three cycle, even though we can freeze time. It's not like, uh, whatever, the bell, where uh, we gain time effectively. Shoot! Shoot! Please give me seven shells. That's like... That's my big dream at the moment. I just want that so bad. Seven shells, 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 seven, 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 seven shells. Please. Oh, baby. That's seven. It's more than seven. Did we get whatever it was from this? No. Table like sun. Oh. That's neat. Alright. We are super cursed. We are super cursed. But not so cursed we got the Lord of the Jammed. But now we have Elder Blank, and it does Chaos Bullets effect, and we have Ballot meaning we have three ranks of coolness, which should increase the uh, speed at which it charges by a pretty bonkers amount. I'll check. I should have... I think I have it pulled up still. 5%. So it does a... Uh, 15%. Reduces the cooldown by 15%. That's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Should we cycle this? Let's cycle this. I don't think it's... It's good, but I don't think we're going to put any of our money in it. Bada bing, bada boom! Riddle of Lead is insanely good. It's like a... It's like a... I don't know. Like, it does so much for you. Gives you a heart, damage, uh, movement speed... Roll speed or distance or something. It's crazy. It's like a... I don't know, but I feel like... Is it... Is it it's like a... Oh, no, no, no. And I learned about one other thing. Is at... Uh, when you have one heart left, it makes it so all the damage you take has a 50% chance of not even happening. So I think that... Does that make it a 10? Does that make it a 10, though? Like, does something that just increases your stats and stuff like that? I, I feel like it might be. It's definitely a 10 on Robot because it is broken as hell. That 50% thing applies all the time for him, apparently. If true, that's massive. That's a really, really big deal. In fact, let me look at the Riddle of Lead page right now to learn a little bit because it's insane. 
Heart container fully heals. Increased damage by 25%. Player speed by 10%. Roll speed by 15%. When at 100 or less, adds a 50% chance to negate. Robot always has the 50% chance to negate. I mean, it's a... I'd say it's like a... It's like a 10. For, I mean, it's definitely a 10. It's like an, like an 11 for a robot, but... Casey's the only thing that I'm going to allow to be over 10 <laughs> because because just because memes but yeah it's a solid outrageously clearly solid 10 for robot it breaks the game free free win as robot really uh for everybody else i guess it's probably a 10 right like it's probably a 10 just it it, it helps way too many things like i would normally maybe feel weird wow weird about putting something that's just like not, I don't know, it, it changes the game a lot, but. Would it carry a run? I think it could. I guess it, I guess it could, you know? That's basically what I think is. Um, tens are items and guns that can, you when you get them, you basically feel like you have won already. There's not a lot of them. And you know what? Like, I, I, I got stuck on a freaking popcorn man. I guess I feel like Riddle of Lead is is one of those. Like, I maybe you need like one other ingredient, but I'd say it's no, it's like a yeah. I wouldn't go any lower than nine point five, but I'm just gonna say ten. Breaks the scale for robot being overpowered. Bye, bye boy. Hilarious that we have backpack, which is <laughs> effectively a complete waste of an item. It can be amazing, but it's one of those items that you you need multiple ingredients for it to be amazing. Let's just do this more. Like we charge up our space bar pretty quickly. We should just have some fun with it. Like it's already full, almost. Wow, not full. It's already almost halfway full. Whoop. Like, I want to get down to the one heart so that I can test out this Riddle of Lead nonsense. Oh my god, Riddle of Lead plus Nana Machines? I wonder, did they work together? Could you create an actually almost unkillable run? Like an actually a couple steps away from being invincible run? I feel like you could. That plus Elder Blank plus Full Metal Jacket, just like full nonsense style. The only thing we need this run, and need it, I, is a strong word. The only thing that I think would be fun this run is if we had, like, ghost bullets to add to our shock rounds. It just... I always feel like shock rounds are, are really neat and fun, but they're not complete until you get ghost bullets. What am I doing? I'm trying to test out the stinking riddle of lead, aren't I? Okay. Do we have a better weapon? I mean, yeah, we do. Like, right there. But I kind of wanted to say that. Let's use some Tangling. I don't know. I just don't know how to rate Shock Rounds. Because they are... I'm always excited to get them because they're fun to look at. I don't know what they do, though, really. Like, what... Obviously, yes, they put the lightning beam that I assume does damage in between them, but what does it do? Really? Let's look it up. It's S tier. Creates a beam of electricity between fired bullets. It doesn't say what it does, though. It doesn't say anything about it. There's a million synergies with it. Creates beams of electricity between fired bullets. What does that mean? What damage does it do? Like, if they get struck by the beam of lightning, is it a one hit or is it a chain hit? I just don't get it. 
dumb boy don't comprehend. Hi, boss. Boy, let's do a little fire like normal. Hey, chaos! Why not? Yeah, I think the optimal way to use this weapon right now is definitely the cheesy way. So cool. This run turned into a banger supreme. This is the same run that we almost died to, uh... <laughs> died to Bell Holster, <laughs> too. Ah. That's funny. That is funny. Alright. This bounce. I mean, we have just we have a fun wonky scenario that just can't be done very often. I I want to cheese it. Huh. That's fine. Just chunks him down so much. Look at this man. He's not even using using the super hot watch for that phase that he hates. That's so much. Wow. And it's, it, it's, it's so funny. This takes so long because we're not moving because of Super Hot Watch. Any day now. Any day now. There we go. Huh. Huh. Don't even bother, sir. He's so little, I don't know if we should we should be bothering with this. Creating such a bad day for this man. Oops. Uh oh, we broke it! The sounds sounds wrong. The sounds wrong. Oh we got hit. It's okay. Should we go and test out the uh, Riddle of Lead? Icarus? Let's just... Bye, boy! I beat the Lich with the starter pistol. There we go. Puts us on a big boy streak of 88. It's a palindrome! Yeah! <laughs> Getting really close to 90. Which is... Ooh, oof, that's single digits. Sing, single digits of victory away. That is wild. Why do all the pilot runs just turn wacky? There's something about this man. That he starts off so, so bad. But then gets really wacky. Almost always. We didn't even go to the secret force to make that happen. Let's take a look at our stuff here. Yeah, it's it's nuts. Riddle of Lead is crazy good. Uh, Elder Blank Chaos Amulet was only possible because of our thieving, as was Shock Rounds so that only possible because of our thieving. So that's the thing. It's like when it, when I rate D pad that high, it's because it's, and then not to mention the fact that we got Riddle of Lead from it. That's why. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, yes, it doesn't always happen in that spectacular of a fashion, but without it, we wouldn't have... Okay, no. Without it, we wouldn't have Chaos Amulet, Riddle of Lead, Shock Rounds. That's a pretty big deal. You know? Because it, it cycled into that. And we got to use the, the entire gun's worth of ammo. And then, maybe and then some because of spread ammo. It's like, you know, that's a, that's a really big deal. That's why it's rated so highly. That is going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. any all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for Daily Gungeon videos. 
Join the Discord to see my Rito scale tier list of the items and guns. It's going to be pinned in the Gungeon section. Follow me on Twitter to see my Game of the Year stuff like that. I'm posting right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.